Hello ladies and gentlemen and uh, nice to see you back. I've been away for a while, I've been moving. I uh, recently built my lab up and uh, now I'm operational, I have everything I need. And I uh, wanted to talk to you guys about domo tests and how to use events uh, to trigger different devices when certain events occur. Um, I bring this up because I recently built a sensor that goes in our bathroom uh, that will turn on for two minutes once somebody walks in for a nightlight uh, and it's also connected to the, do the domo server downstairs so I know when it's on uh, and it's easily controllable at a central point um, so just to get started uh, I want to bring up the old Google Chrome and show you what I've found so setting up events in Domo. Um, there's not a lot of stuff there that really explains down to the T of how to use it uh, using the Blockly function. Um, when you go into events in the first one, uh, it gives you the event system script creation, the Blockly interface, Lua Python, and then uh, adding your own scripts uh, to uh, Lua in the directories. Um, it's if you're not a programmer, it's it's kind of hard to follow. Um, the Blockly system uses something that's similar to how kids use to program uh, Alice with, which is basically uh, puzzle pieces you put together and then you put different parameters inside of those puzzle pieces to uh, create the program. Um, I used it specifically for this because it was easy. Um, and if you need to know more about the Blockly, there's a link here that shows you exactly what uh, what the Blockleys are, and it gives demos on each one of them. So what I did is I went back. Let's go back to the Google search page. I went to the event test on and off, and this basically shows a a dummy device inside of Domo um, that. One light turns on, the other one turns off, the other one turns on, the other one turns off, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, great. Mm, uh, nothing outside of that I've found on YouTube that really addresses the Blockly functionality of um, the Domo server. So what we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to go through it real quick, and I'm going to show you some stuff. Um, just one thing you might want to do is. Uh, and I've, and I've expressed this in the past. Uh, the Domo manual is downloadable. It's 36 pages and it has a lot of stuff in there. If you really want to learn more about it, uh, I suggest reading through it briefly just to get a good idea of what, to, what you might encounter when you're using uh, the, the, the Domo server. Uh, as all of you might know, I'm using my Domo server on a Raspberry Pi, uh, which has been running great. Um, I've had to change some parameters due to um, bandwidth usage, but uh, it's working quite well. So we'll go over to the Domo server here, and to go to the events tab, uh, you basically have to get into setup, go down to more options, and then events. Now this is a blank slate. Um, you've got different uh, sub uh, subcategories here that show you different types of puzzle pieces if you would. Um, this is the main puzzle piece which is basically drag and drop. This puzzle piece is if you want to do one if do statement. This puzzle piece will do more than one if do statement and it'll also do else if statements as well. So let's go ahead and uh, first let's look at the master bath nightlight that I have. So this is a simple if do statement. Uh, it's saying if the master bath motion sensor is on then do which means go ahead and set the master bath night light to on for two minutes and what I've done and I don't know if I can show you this 
I've built these little boxes um, with my 3D printer, and it's it's a small, rounded off square box, rectangle box, and I've built these uh, sensors that complement the box. Uh, my son actually just finished this one, uh, which has multiple sensors on it. It has a light sensor here. Um, you've got a DS1820B here, which is just a regular uh, temperature sensor. And um, what I do is a relay is installed on this um, and is is actuated via the ESP8266 that's on board. Um, I use these uh, 8266 exclusively because they're really good. I use the 7s and the 12Fs. Uh, the 7s are really versatile and I haven't had any issues and plus I like them because they have an onboard antenna connector which is really nice. And this this box basically houses this piece of equipment uh, directly inside of it. It's quite tight, um, it's compact, uh, and it uh, just fits. You can see that very well. And what I'll do is on this end, I'll put uh, two pigtails. One will be a uh, receptacle and one will be a plug that goes into the wall. Um, and that actuates uh, basically anything. So that's what I'm using to uh, turn the night light on and off. So this is a simple type of Blockly programming setup. And it's just puzzle pieces put together. Um, there's other ones in here as well. Uh, let's go ahead and do new. We can do event test event. And you can change it to Lua, DZ events, or Python. Python can only be used if it was natively programmed in Python. So if you haven't used Domo in Python or wasn't uh, programmed directly with Python, you cannot use that. Um, these are the different types of devices that can uh, be utilized. I put all because then everything is listed. Uh, event active, you can either activate it or you can deactivate it. Deactivating means it won't actually form a function and it won't uh, proceed with the programming um, uh, flow. So as we've seen, we've got the controls, we've got the logics. So we've got this equals to or greater than, less than, so on and so forth. And it just keeps on going down and down and down. You've got on, off, set, x equals y, or level equals, or if level is 0, you can go to 100%. Uh, set x equals after so many seconds. Um, you can set four minutes. Um, you can set random within minutes, which is really good for, um, I guess, random on and off if you're away from your house for setting lights up. Time, time equals, it can equal the time, or greater than, less than. Um, day can equal Monday, Tuesday, so on and so forth. And then here's your time block. And then you can do sunrise or sunset. In messages, you can actually set it up to where you're using the different functions inside of uh, Domo. If you go to settings, and if you go to notifications, you can do prowl, push bullet, push over, click a tell SMS, um, NMA Android, push safer, push a lot, and then catch some HTTP actions in the actual system itself. Um, and this uh, can send you SMSs. I don't do that because I basically just VPN in from outside, which is a lot safer. Um, so we'll go back to more options, the events. <clears throat> So that's where the messages comes in. You can use prowl, NMA, very low pushover, and then you can actually set the priority levels as well. Um, you can send emails if you want to connect to an SMTP or uh, uh, a different type of email system. Um, send M SMS with subject. That's if you have the different prowl, et cetera, et cetera, functions. And then here's your message block. Or you can have it open up an actual website. Here's the open URL, and then you place this inside of this puzzle piece, and then put your HTML or your URL inside of here to open up up the web web browser. Uh, start script. You can start a, you can start a script from uh, running when something happens. Um, 
as a trigger. Security is pretty simple. It's armed and disarmed. Uh, armed is home and away. So you've got disarmed, then you've got disarmed home and armed away. User variables, uh, there's no devices. I don't have any for user variable devices found. Um, those are if you create de user devices that are um, custom to your situation. Uh, I haven't used it yet, but probably will in the near future. Um, debugging and logging, right to log, and you can actually put this uh, posted to like an FTP server, uh, which is kind of nice. And then here are all the devices you can actually set up. And they're listed if you have devices already in the system, they're listed. So right now I've got uh, through M through R, I've got Master Bedroom Motion, Master Bath Motion, Master Bath Nightlight, Office Light, and Pool Lamp. Um, and there's just all kinds of different ones if you have certain items within the uh, alphabet, A, F, G, L, M, R, S, Z. And these are all the switches that I have. Temperatures, of course, these are all the temperature sensors I've used. Uh, not all of them are active, but uh, they, they could be. Humidity as well, you can use the DS, uh, no, it's a DHT11 and DHT22. Uh, dew point, I don't have a sensor that does that other than these temperature and humid sensors, and it automatically will um, calculate the humidity. Dew point also. Same thing, it calculates it. So barometer, I don't have one. <clears throat> and then you've got your weather. You can get weather vanes or you can build weather items or, or sensors like the, the ones that you see outside that people buy. Um, utilities, these are mostly uh, light sensors or uh, photo sensors. Scenes and groups, I don't ha I have one but uh, I don't use them. And then cameras, of course, if you have cameras connected to Domo, you can also have those uh, pop up or if something happens, a trigger can alarm something and then send an SMS, et cetera, et cetera. Set points also uh, don't have any, don't use them. And then Z-Way alarms, I don't use Z-Wave. Uh, these are the basic functions of the system and it's hard not to do it right. It's hard to mess it up. So it's hard not to do it right. It's hard not to. It's hard to mess it up. It's really, really simple. It's all drag and drop. If you decide to invest a little bit of time in Lua and uh, these other types of coding languages that are available and are supported. It's, it's some work. It, it's basically the same thing, except it's not in a graphical form. And it can be tedious, of course, because the syntax could be wrong. Uh, you could have problems. Uh, it's just a lot of unnecessary waste of time. Uh, that's why I suggest using the Blockly function, because these are just puzzle pieces, and it's a lot easier. So let me go back to my uh, saved events on the master bathroom. Now this thing actually functions. We did some testing down here before I actually put it upstairs. And what I did is I took one of these tops that we developed and I made a, a little cutout here uh, that provided uh, enough room to um, fit a PIR in it, which is now up in the bedroom and, or in the master bathroom. And what it does is, like I said, master bath motion when it equals on which means a signal of one on digital set the master bath night light on for two minutes uh, it's a great function uh, I do like it um, it can be tedious at times if you do decide to build a ton of these I do not recommend using the Raspberry Pis as the server I recommend something a little bit more uh, performance uh, based um, but in the meantime, if you want to use them just to test, the Raspberry Pis are perfect for them. Uh, but um, yeah, and that's, uh, what else do we have to cover? Go back over here, office lamp. So that was it. And I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please do post them below. Uh, please do like my page. And if you have any questions about something that's not working on the Domo servers or anything that has to do with the DSP8266 functionality, 
and interfacing, please do drop me a line. I will respond now that my lab is completely set up. Thank you very much and have a drink. Mm -hmm.